Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays and we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint today. This is the game mode where I drive around the city and I have to try and pick up the checkpoints and there's going to be five of them eventually. At the moment we've got one over at uh, Pier Entrance and once I take that it'll, I'll be given another one and another one and so on. God if I manage to take all five of them I then I win the game. Car. To make it a little bit harder there are a handful of hunters scattered around the map, so we've got also driving around the city. So we've got Tristan in purple, we've got Mike in orange. Speaking of Tristan in purple, there he goes. Uh, we've got Mike in orange, we've got Max in pale blue, we've got Pete in dark green, uh, we've got Mark in light green, and we've got Ed in yellow. So we'll um, we'll see them driving around quite a bit, all trying to find me and trying to stop me, typically by by shooting me and. Um, yeah, other, other sort of senseless violences. Because if they manage to kill me, then or rather if I die, then they win the game. And if I take all the checkpoints, I win the game. So the city is a big old place, so we don't reckon on um, them being able to um, just find me wherever I am. Because there's only there's only six, six, however many of them I said there were. Um, so in order to give them a bit of a hand, there is a blip on their maps that follows me around. And it's always 400 metres behind me. And that means that um, if they... Uh, if, if, they, they can use that to tell roughly where I am and I can try and then pull off some sort of complicated shenanigans in an attempt to make it a bit less obvious where I am. So ooh, let's take a radius, I've not used one of them for ages. Oh, no. what, um, yeah, so we okay, have a... Um, I'm being shot at. Ah, do not want shooting. Right, so we have a rule in the game um, to, to try and keep it sort of balanced and to try and give me a bit more of an incentive to use some of the slightly worse cars, like, like this radius. Um, and that rule is that um, the hunters aren't allowed to use class any any decent cars unless they've seen me already driving a car of that class. So, at the moment, I'm driving a Radius, that's an SUV. The hunters at the start are allowed to drive compacts, sedans and SUVs. Um, beyond that, they're not, allowed, they're not allowed to drive coupes, sports, muscle cars, anything like that, until they've seen me driving them. Um, and it's not until I've driven them, they have to have actually seen me and identified me and be pretty sure about it. So this gives me an incentive to use the worst cars because that way I'm not unlocking the good cars for them um, because they won't. They, if, if I'm not driving, if, if I don't drive a car, obviously they won't be able to see me in it. So I don't really entirely want to go this way, but I'm not sure what the best way to get to the pier is from here. Um, because the blip is following me around like that, they have this sort of. It's slightly tricky for them to work out where I'm going especially if I start taking lots and lots of corners. So let's pull a U-turn here and go back this way, because this is slightly more the direction I want to go in. Um, I've scratched my car up a bit, which is not ideal, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that later. So the blip is, as I said, 400 metres behind me. So at some point I'm expecting to see the hunters come, yes, like that, flying up here, because they've seen my blip go up here. But I've turned round and I'm now coming back where the direction I just came from. So. That'll throw them off a little bit and give them a bit, a bit of a bit of confusion and make it a little bit harder for them to find me. Now that's Ed in that mini, so I don't want to get his attention. Um, although maybe I have. Oh no, no, that red car has got his attention. Okay, that's that's fine. He can attack that felon all he wants because I'm not in that. And so if he's distracted by that one, then he's not going to be. Um, he's not attacking me, and that's the most important. Thing. Come on, can we have a green light, please? There we go. Let's get out of here. So one of the hardest parts about these games is trying to react the way a hunter would when I get attacked by a um, by one of the players. Because sorry, react the way an AI would when I get attacked by one of the players, uh, and that's quite difficult to do. Um, mostly, a lot, at least partly, because they see how the AI, AI react a lot more than I do. Because I don't tend to go around ramming AIs if I can possibly avoid it. So they've got a lot more experience of what AIs do when they get attacked than I have. And that means if I don't react in quite the right way, they get suspicious, they'll then start to come after me. Fortunately so far I seem to have got away with it. And I'm now heading in about the right direction. But very soon they're going to know that I'm on the motorway. There aren't many cars down here. Is that purple car coming onto the motorway I see back there? It might be, I'm not sure. So I'm going to come off here. Um, and then... Again, start pulling some shenanigans around the sort of around the corners and the loops and things up here, because there's quite. I'm going to put my foot down a bit because I'm afraid that might be Tristan. So if I cut, but he's quite a long. Way, uh, I say he's quite a long way behind me. So I hope if I get in here quickly, there's the um, the checkpoint back that way. That's maybe it wasn't him. I don't know. I might have just panicked unnecessarily, but I think it's better to try and be safe than sorry. Should we put it that way? 
Now, I do want a, dif a better car, a different car, because this one's taken a bit of a beating from going through a few a few bollards and being shot by a um, and being shot earlier when I, when I stole it. And Mark seems to have found me, and I'm not quite sure how he's done that. Um, maybe it was, maybe it's the bullet hole in the back in the back windscreen that might make, make the car a little bit obvious. But he came up as a look. He, he investigated me hard enough that I think it's probably worth me now trying to get away. So I've turned the circle off, which me, uh, or the blip off rather, which means that they now have no clue where I am. All they can rely on now is how well Mark can follow me. And he's and um, how well all the other hunters can turn up as well like that. So Mark is in a mini, which means he's probably got a little bit more agility than I have. But I've probably got a bit more toughness, so and a bit more weight to bar barge through. So he's, he's going to struggle to pin me down, I suspect. But also, I'm going to struggle to lose him. And str him struggling to pin me down isn't that... Ooh, he spun a bit there. Oops, that's, now there's two minis behind me. Okay. So, yeah, the, now there's, there's two of them there. So it's going to be quite difficult for me to um, evade them both, I suspect. The other advantage they've... Is that Pete? I think it might be. The other One of the other advantages I've got over them is that the mini can, can, can be a bit slidey if you try and corner too fast. Enough. So I need to try and make them corner more than their cars are going to be comfortable with. See how that goes. In fact, there's lots of minis after me. It's like the um, like some sort of weird foreign version of the Italian job. Because um, they're not in red, white, and blue. Oh, I'm getting stuck on all the street furniture. This is not going well. Tristan is turning around there. Let's go the other way then to try and get away from him. Um, oh, this this radius might not have been the best best choice of vehicle, but it's I don't know. I mean, it's it's reasonably evenly matched to the minis. I think. Um, I'm, I think I've got slightly more cornering ability. Um, I think my car has got slightly more cornering ability. What I've got is... Oh, who knows. Okay, I won't go in that alleyway then, if you insist. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'm going up here then. Um, yeah, there's a, a fleet of minis behind me, and then Pete in an SUV, because he clearly didn't get the memo. Um, <laughs> let's carry on up this way. I wouldn't expect to have the speed over them, because... I feel like the Mini is a reasonably quick car, and the Ford Escape, whatever this thing is that I'm driving, it's a Radius, I think it's based on a Ford of some sort. Um, probably not so much of a, um, not so good with the adult agility. Let's, ooh, let's, I don't know what the let's is in that. Let's, let's ram Tristan, that's always a good, a good start. Uh, how do I get out of the, um, of the graveyards, of the, um, cemetery? Oh, there we go, there's a way out over here. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Okay, so the going off-road kind of worked. It threw them off a little bit, but they are still, like, right behind me. So, um, yes. I think... I've only got two of them, actually. I've got Tristan and Mike. Um, so we're down, down to two minis out of this, of the, the flood of them that we had before. No, that isn't the turn there. This is the turn here. Let's hit that one. Radius, actually, it understeers a bit... But it doesn't have the sort of the, the slidey flying all over the place, completely out of control thing that the um, some of some of the cars do, especially the muscle cars. So actually, the radius is handling. I'm. It's not too bad, especially when you get into some of these tighter roads like that. I think. Oh no, they are still with me. I was going to say I, I have I have cautious optimism that this might cause them to struggle a little bit, but so far not so much. I do know from previous runs that the, um, the radius is a surprisingly robust fit. And it will keep going long after you expect it to have basically just given up and died. So maybe if I can just keep going around and batting them out of the way, eventually. I think Tristan just hit a pedestrian at ex with extreme prejudice um, and absolutely wrecked it. He sent it flying into the air, which is um, interesting and, and, and rather distracting, which caused me to have a bit of a crash there, which is unfortunate. Oh. Corner, 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 corner. There we go. More corners. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Oh no, there's another hunter there. Oof. Two more hunters, in fact. No, there's another radius. <laughs> so as I was saying, the radius is is quite good at being just generally tough and withstanding a surprising amount of abuse. As I've just as I'm as I'm demonstrating. <clears throat> okay, all the hunters are zipping past upwards, so I'm gonna turn around and oh, I say all. All might have been a bit ambitious. A bit optimistic, rather. They're, they're, um, a couple of them did, but I think they've all turned around and come back down again now. I hate driving through this pedestrianised area because there's there's so much street furniture, so many sticky outy bits of wall and that sort of thing. That it's just it's just an absolute nightmare to drive through there. So, okay, we're coming back up here again. So there's the checkpoint. 
I'm obviously not not allowed to take it at the moment because I'm in a chase. That's one of the sort of the the rules that we've we've set and always stuck to. So I'm not I'm not going to do that unless unless I can unless I've got some sort of good excuse for why a chase doesn't count. I'm um, going to continue to continue to obey that. Oh, that was a more slightly more tree than I was expecting it to be. Um, I think that was a flash of yellow off to the right there, but I'm too busy trying to drive. Yes, it was. Let's head back again. So the hunters are quite good at sort of what the, what they basically what they do is if if they know that I'm driving down a road like this one, then they probably won't all find their way onto this road. That some of them will go a road north or a road south of it, in the hope that if I turn down, if I turn off the road that I'm on and head back towards them, that maybe they'll be able to intercept me. Now, ooh, I was going to say I think I've got rid of them. I hadn't got rid of them. There's um, there's Mark there. Let's dive in here. Um, now. I there are several ways to go down here, so if I get this way, I could go into the car park, but I think that's probably a bad idea. But I'm hoping... What's that? I mean, obviously it was a trick, but you know. Oh no, there's, um, there's Mark still. He... I don't... <laughs> he obviously didn't see me go down the alleyway, that's really frustrating. If I'd known he didn't see me go down there, I'd have done something completely different. I would have gone in that car park and gone for a, gone for a vehicle change. <sighs> Ooh, that's given me some unexpected speed. <laughs> um, there's another car park there. Again, that would have been a nice one to dip into, but again, once again, can't, can't do that. So, I think the, yeah, the, the slidiness of those minis, I think, is helping me quite a bit in this. Um, because they're having trouble with their, um, having a bit of trouble with the steering when I, when I do take all the corners that I'm taking. Um, and that's basically what I, I I need something like that to give me the bit of, of an advantage. I, it, give me a little bit of an advantage in order to try try and get away. Um, ooh, something something drastic has happened behind me up there. Okay, they're all there again, so I've got some distance on them. I need to do something with that distance and and cement my escape. Now, I think they're far enough back that I can probably keep. Ooh, I was going to say I can keep going in a straight line without them seeing where I go. What if I come in here and then dip down here and then I think it's the. Oh, I can't remember, is it the second one of these is the way through? I think it is. Yes. So if I come through here, it's relatively slowly through here. Let's let's see if they're still behind me. Yes, they are. Damn it. <laughs> oh, no, I thought I was far enough ahead that I'd get away with it. Right, time for, the, um, time for the resilience of the radius to come into play again, because it is just very good at pushing its way through kind of everything. Come through here. That's a... Uh, not, I mean, that's not going to throw them off at all because they're right behind me. They saw exactly where I went. But it's a slightly unexpected direction to take, so it maybe gives them a half a second of a pause. Slide from the radius there. Back, got it around. Wrestled it around the corner. There's Mike coming from the opposite direction. Is that Mike? Yes, it is. He's in a surprisingly pristine mini. He's obviously stopped and changed. Yes, I think that might be his old one there. Um, but I feel sometimes driving directly towards hunters can be quite effective because if you do that, then come up here. This is, this is a silly. It is a silly place. Um, ooh, because that happens, and that, and that, and that. Yeah. If you, sometimes, if you drive straight towards hunters, when you, when they, <laughs> they've all had problems as well dismounting. I know, except Max, who's still with me. That's a shame. Um, <laughs> yeah. So they all have trouble. Um, some, if you can manage to not ram them, ram right into the front of them, which is a big if, I grant you. Um, but if you can manage that, then. Um, uh, there's a reasonable that you can hope that they will then have some sort of issues with the other cars behind them that are also also following, um, and that's sort of the, the hope I was going I was going for there, where I just charge straight at it because I have. It's not too difficult to avoid a single car coming towards you. It's not. Or it doesn't always work. Sometimes they do manage to hit you, but again, then you can then I can rely on the sort of the, the aforementioned radius resilience to try and get past them uh, or get away from them again. And worst case, it doesn't. It's one of those things that it's probably not going to doom me if I have a crash because, well, I end up having lots of crashes. Ooh, there goes Mark in the opposite direction. Did he see me turn up here? I don't know. Oh, I guess we'll find out because I've stopped. Can't control my camera. Yes, he has. He's seen me. He's coming up here. Damn it! <laughs> that was good. That would. I wasn't. It, I mean, he'd, he'd seen me come up here, so I hadn't. I hadn't. I hadn't made the escape, but. Oh, I was. Um, it was going. It was going well. I had a good lead on the hunters, and I was hoping that that was going to get me away. But oh no, no such luck. Where's the Where's the alleyway? Here's the alleyway. Let's go in here again. It worked so well last time. <laughs> 
But the problem is, I can't be looking behind me as I go round these corners. Because if I do, I can't take a corner when I'm looking in the mirror, basically. That truck's in a very good place for blocking line of sight. Um, yeah, I can't be looking behind me as I go around a corner, which means I can't check to see if I've lost them at the absolute last moment. Um, so, there's a... Ooh, I think I might have lost them at this point, though. Let's try and find a quiet road somewhere and switch to a different car. One that's a bit less recognisable, a bit less beaten up, and just generally different. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, we're escalating to coupes now. Is this a <laughs> now, I don't know if they've got a good look at my face yet. I think I sort of have to guess they probably have. Oops. I didn't mean to disable it, I meant to enable it. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's back on again. I didn't mean to turn it off. We'll pretend that didn't happen, shall we? That's, I think that's probably a safe thing to do. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I didn't actually turn the circle off. That's interesting. Um, I thought I had. I'm not sure why I thought I had. Um, but yeah. Okay, so. They're going to have guessed. They're going to have seen that my blipper stopped. They're going to know that they've lost me from the chase. They're going to. Basically, they're going to. Oop, there goes a Tristan at speeds. Let's stop here to give him a chance to go away. And now I can go this way. Go s somewhere different. That better not be Mike. <laughs> In the infernus. <laughs> He's definitely not allowed to drive one of those. He probably, I don't think it is him, it's not, it's not behaving in a particularly Mike way, it's just sort of a bit all over the place as it came up around the corner. Okay, um, right, so now I need to start thinking about, about trying to go and get that uh, checkpoint. There's, is that Pete? Or is it, yes, that's Pete in the dark, dark green mini. Okay, so they're still, they're still going very, very mini heavy, which, uh, I mean, uh, that's that's acceptable. That's respectable. And there's oh, and a uh, yellow, um, uh, yellow, uh, yellow Ed. That's what I was trying to say. Because um, it was some sort of SUV. I don't know. I don't know. I don't do SUVs. Let's follow this um, uh, banshee. Not the banshee. Uh, this. What is that car called? I've, I've completely forgotten. Um, Infernus. There we go. Let's follow this Infernus because it's acting kind of suspiciously, and maybe it'll take some of the heat off me. But then, right turn on red. And now I'm going to loop back round and try and grab that checkpoint. Um, here. So, another right turn on red. And then the checkpoint dead ahead of me, right there. There goes Mark, there goes Mark. Okay, that looks like Max ahead of me. I don't know. It's got. It's having frame rate issues, which suggests it might be a player. Um, or it's la having lag issues, rather, which suggests it might be a player. And it was the right sort of blue for Max, I think, as far as I could tell from that specific. Why'd that go? Okay. I went orange, which is a bit of a surprise. Um, let's do a bit of getting out of here, shall we, for now. And then off this way. Whoop! Ow! That was a very good intercept. I do not approve. <laughs> uh, right. Can I have a... Another check. Oh, so it probably hasn't been the 30 seconds yet. That's why it's still telling me about the previous checkpoint. Good. Ooh, I think he overshot. Maybe he didn't see me dive into this um, into this alleyway. So that means I basically have to go this way now. Try and get out of here. Um, North Vinewood. Okay. Um, why is there? There's something funny going on with the checkpoints here. I don't know why it says two and also. I'm very confused. I'm not sure what's happened. No, I'm not sure what's going on with the with the game here. I th um, but was that only the was that only the first checkpoint? I honestly can't remember. I think that we might have the sort of the um, occasionally there's a bug in the game where the checkpoints don't get cleared up from a previous run properly, and I think we might be having that right now, which is why I'm still seeing a four over there appear. And I thought maybe I got onto the fourth checkpoint, which I have to admit was part of the reason I took a coupe. But it turns out the run had just actually just been going on for so long that I was. Um, that I'm still only on the second checkpoint now. <laughs> okay, I need to change cars. But we've the problem is we've introduced a thing where um, cars don't spawn in around the prey quite as much as they traditionally, as they normally do by default. In this, this was an attempt to fix the um, the problem where um, the problem where we ha have we've had in the past where uh, the prey is really really obvious because they're surrounded by a cloud of AI vehicles. Um, 
so we've reduced the probability of or the frequency of cars spawning in around the prey which will probably help a little bit has that did Ed notice me do the come out of there or is he too busy going sideways I think he's too busy going sideways so let's carry on um, yeah, so in, in order to, to make to stop the clouds of cars forming around the pr prey the way they used to, this car slides a lot when you're trying to stop. Um, we've decided to we've turned down the um, the frequency of cars spawning around the prey, um, but unfortunately that makes it harder for me to change vehicles because if there aren't so many vehicles spawning around me, it's hard to find one. But if, both it's hard to find one at all, but it's even harder to find one that I actually want to change into. So, we're in a position now where the hunters are allowed to use coupes if they've realised, if, they, if, if Max has reported that I was driving that, whatever it was I was driving at the time. So there is a chance that I'm going to meet hunters driving, driving coupes, in which case I'm going to be in a lot of trouble because this SUV is not going to drive anything like as well. Um, it's going to be a real struggle to get away. However, if they have spotted that I've been driving a coupe, then... They won't be expecting me to have dropped back down to an SUV, so maybe they won't look as closely at this one. There's a lot of maybes and ums and ers and perhapses and who knowses in there. I know that, but but that's how this game works. There's a lot. There's a surprising amount of psychology in this for a game that involves driving around a city at high speed and shooting at people. So <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know whether they'll actually notice notice me in this. Um, what am I even driving? Uh, yeah, a BJXL apparently. Um, Yes, so we shall see. Uh, but at the moment, green lights. That's going to take me straight up to this checkpoint. Now, I am doing a straight line, which is the thing I said I don't like doing. But by the time I get to the checkpoint, the straight line won't have... I won't have done a straight line as far as they can tell, so I'll still have been wiggling, I, I think. I think, that makes, I think that makes a certain logical sense. So we'll take that and then drive straight back down here. And I want to get off this road if I can. Because there's going to be a lot of hunters around here I mean, fairly soon, I suspect. So let's come down here and hide in the postal area for a moment or two. Now, the problem with... I've been spotted. The first problem is that I've been spotted. The second problem is that if I stop in there, then they're not going to, then they're going to see the blip isn't moving. So they're going to um, know that I've, I've gone to ground and we'll just be searching the, the area around the, um, around the checkpoint. Ow. I guess. What was that? It was a nice pirouette, but it's not how you escape. Let's go in here. Am I might, yes, I've still got, still got feet. There goes Max in the other direction. So I think that means I should probably go up here. Um, just, you know, in general principles, it's usually best to drive away from the hunters. <laughs> if you possibly can. Now, the question is, how, what have I, what have I got in this, what can this, this SUV do better than a Mini? Now the obvious answer feels like drive off road. The other answer is maybe it's got big chunky tires and it can slam on the brakes a bit more effectively. I don't know. It, that seemed to work. <laughs> That's a lot of minis chasing me down this alleyway. Uh, maybe I hope they will all have come a cropper on each other on the way through. Yeah, a bit like that. They didn't all come a cropper sadly, but there was definitely some interference between them there. So yeah, going into an alleyway when you've got a massive cloud cloud of minis chasing you. Seems like seems to be quite a good tactic. <laughs> oh, bonk, bonk. Ah, that, that, however, is not a good tactic. Driving into things and getting stopped, not a good tactic. Let's not do that again. There goes Tristan, straight across. Let's go down here onto the... That did not steer as I hoped it would. Now, once again, like the, um... Like the radius... <laughs> like the radius, I kind of hope that we're going to have the same sort of unexpected resilience from this vehicle. I say unexpected, it's expected resilience from this vehicle, where no matter how much they bat it around, it's just going to keep going and be able to drive off into the sunset once again. Now, the problem is there's a lot more of them than there are of me, so whilst technically, yes, I can probably um, out-survive most of the crashes and things we're going to have. <laughs> That's some astonishing driving coming from the hunters there. Well done, hunter contingent. My front end is getting is turning into, into an interesting shape. Right. So one of the saving graces I do have at this point is because I'm driving an SUV, I get the um, I get the, the the free bulletproof tyres that you get with any any car that is worse than a coupe ATM. 
And this is a rule that we've, we've had in the game for ages. And again, it's, it's an encouragement to use the slightly worse cars, otherwise you just wouldn't want to use. Um, and it means that basically if I'm driving a bad car, which an SUV definitely counts as, then I don't then I then I don't have to worry about getting my tires shot out, which is a big relief. And here are all the hunts again because I really messed up that hammer turn there. Um I haven't even got The problem is there's enough of them that one or two of them can sort of get in my way and irritate me while another two turn round and start chasing again. Um so this is this is the problem with having a lot of hunters following you at the same time, is that they can sort of it's almost a divide and conquer type thing. Um, in that they can they can do different things. This car doesn't handle quite as nicely as the Radius did. That's a shame. Oh. It's still got the same understeer rather than it doesn't spin like minis often do though. So maybe 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 I do have a little bit of an advantage there. Um, I still have them right behind me, of course, but potentially uh, down to two of them. It's a different two from before as well. We've got um, uh, Pete in the green and we've got Max in the blue. So that makes a change, I suppose. Let's go because why not? Um, of course, they're still right behind me, so there's no point in trying to do a, any sort of particularly cunning shenanigan at this point, because they're just going to be... They're right, they're close enough behind me that they'll see what I do, and they'll follow me through it, and they've got... I think they've potentially got cars that are similarly manoeuvrable, um, and I think certainly Max and possibly Pete are better drivers than me, so... I'm not going to be able to get away just by by sort of sheer panache. It needs a little bit of it needs a sort of a handful of things. Uh, one of which is definitely an element of luck, but also they need an element of luck. They, so if I have any if I do any bad driving, which I mean happens more often than I would like to admit, then yeah, sure they catch up with me. They can bat me around a little bit, but that doesn't mean they can necessarily um, they can stop me because ram ramming me a couple of times isn't going to stop me. It's just going to bash up the car a little bit more and then I'll have to start running running away again like this. Um, have I got speed on them? Or have they just had some sort of accident? I don't know. But it seems to be going surprisingly well at this point, which is interesting. Now this corner often makes people crash like that. I tried to slow down for it, but didn't enough. Yeah, like just like that in fact. So they've gone all over the place in that corner. Now if I had slowed down ever so slightly sooner there, um, because I knew I knew that was going to be a problem. If I just slammed on the brakes a bit more, then I would have been well away because they'd have all gone smash like that, and I'd have been out of here. Um, sadly, it was not to be. I think this is a turn off the circle moment because they aren't close behind me, and I might have broken line of sight. It's hard to be sure. Let's go up here. I don't know where it goes, and I'm hoping it's not a dead end. But if it isn't, it might be a good escape route. Is anyone behind me? No. Oh, there goes Mark off in an unknown direction. I was going to say I'll turn my headlights off, but I don't think that's an issue I need to particularly worry about. Let's abandon this car here. Now, I'm in the slightly dodgy area of town, and I'm wearing a suit, so I'd probably stick out quite a bit here. But let's try and find another car and get out of here. Um, before before the hunters circle back and realise, work out where I am. It's a very orange truck there. I suspect that might be one of the hunters. I don't really want a Stratum. It's not my first choice of car by a long, long stretch. An uh, ingot, sorry. I don't want an ingot. But it'll do to get me out of this area. Um, and until I can find something a bit better to borrow. Okay, so what to do, what to do. Well, Doc's entrance is off this way. Let's let's head off towards that for now. Then I do need to turn the blip back on, basically as soon as I realistically can, which is now. Um, Ed, you're cheating again. You're in a white car. Stop doing that. <laughs> um, I mean, it's obvious that was a hunter because of the way it was driving, but even so. And I don't want to get in a chase in this car. This is far too poor a car for any sort of chase-based shenanigans. Let's go down... Here, yeah, I really need something else. Nothing in the... Well, there's a truck in the car park, but I don't want a truck. I think I've got a way... Maybe that wasn't Ed. Maybe I've just um, been rude about him um, un unfairly. Are there any cars in this car park? No, there aren't. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not happy with his Inga. It's a bit too poor a vehicle for my uh, for my needs, should we say. I have, I have needs, and it's for a car that handles a bit better than this. I did do a I did do a run um, 
a few weeks back in a uh, where I was driving a Volvo, which is based very very heavily on the Ingot. In fact, it is exactly the same car, exactly the same handling stats, um, because that's how we add vehicles in. Oh, let's take that muscle truck. Actually, they're quite they're surprisingly good. Oh, I didn't look behind me before I got out. Come here. Oh, I've got run over by a car I'm trying to steal. That's not helpful. Get the car. Get the car. Oh no. Oh. Uh, why does Pete always turn up when I'm stealing a car? At least I now have a slightly better car to get try and get away from him in. <laughs> oh, it does always seem to be Pete as well, which is impressive. And now they're all here. I mean, okay, that's not surprising because they would all be in the general area because, well, because of the blip telling them roughly where to go. But oh dear. <laughs> okay, well we're having another chase again. It seems. Um, I should have spent a bit more time with the uh, the blip turned off until I'd found a car I was satisfied with. I guess I was a bit too. Um, willing to change back to to turn it back on while I was still still kind of looking um, what what do I do along here do I carry on yeah there's only one road the only one way this road goes oh no this isn't the road I was thinking of there is only one way this road really goes but it's it's probably okay there don't seem to be any hunters up here let's cut across this bridge here and hope that works okay there's three of them behind at least three of them behind me I see some issues have happening behind me as well Around the FedEx truck. There we go. Doing nicely. So yeah, this, I, I saw some um, issues happening behind me, but sadly they weren't serious enough issues to actually get rid of the hunters, and they are much faster vehicles than me, it turns out. So I'm going to go this way. And Mike was a bit late to the party. <laughs> Look at that! We've got a cloud of five minis behind me. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I needed to find a sport. Basically, I needed to find a sports car. I didn't find a sports car. I found a muscle truck. Which are we going to do some bump grafting? Apparently, we're going to do some bump grafting. Um, with the muscle truck, it's, it's not bad, but it's it's not that quick. And I I kind of like it. It it handles reasonably well. It also looks reasonably subtle. And I was going to say not not the sort of thing they'd expect me to drive, but now they're they're watching me driving it, so it probably is the sort of thing they'd expect me to drive in the future. Um, but it's 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 not a bad vehicle. It's just a bit slow. <laughs> um, so it's quite good for trying to stay undercover but it's not so good once you actually get into the chases and oh mark has had an issue with that lamppost excellent it's what we like to see let's come around here um look at some taking spawn and can i can i no apparently i can't oh. <laughs> okay we've nudged tristan off into the um into the storm drain that's quite good everyone else is going in the wrong direction let's go over here have we got any? Oh, there's still still an Ed behind me, but I feel like that. So what I was trying to do was subtly jump into the storm drain when they think I'd gone down the the road or the railway lines or something like that. Um, whilst uh, yeah, but but I disappear into the, drop into the storm drain and hopefully disappear. Uh, that didn't happen as you as you quite clearly saw, but what also but because of, because I landed awkwardly like that, it did make, did mean we were able to boot Tristan down into the storm drain and get rid of him down there. So that's that was a help. Um, I can't stand it, turn the circle back up again, because I don't think anyone saw me come up here. No, I don't think they did, because they're not they're not really around. But given where I've just come up, I don't know if I can realistically escape like this. I'm gonna head a little bit further north. Is that Ed? Oh, right, it is Ed. Has he noticed me? Yes, he has. Okay. Damn it! I should have run him over. Why didn't I run him over? Muppet, and he's got one of my tyres because muscle cars are just good enough to not get the the, um, the bulletproof tyres. Turn my lights off. There we go. That'll help a little bit, I think. He's behind. Oh, he's overshot. Excellent. Um, I believe I've disabled the circle, although there doesn't seem to be any feedback to tell me that I have done, which is a shame. I shall have to have words with my developer. Um, okay, so now I'm in an even worse position. I'm in a muscle truck and I've lost a tire. Ooh, Mark didn't somehow didn't notice me there. Excellent. Right, let's get going up this way. And uh, Max did notice me. That's a shame. All I've got now going for me is speed over his little um, smart car thing, Panto. So I'm already moving. Panto is slow. If I can just keep moving down this highway. Maybe I've got a chance. Um, he's there still. What if I cross sides? If I do any sort of remotely violent 
direction changes then my car is just going to spin all over the place because no tyres or a missing rear tyre and a missing rear tyre on a muscle vehicle and this counts as a muscle this counts as a muscle car um, is bad ooh, bad news bad news bad news can I can I can I can I can I can um, I could jump down there and down there but they'd, they'd be expecting that can I get over here instead no that's just a crash I, mean, I was hoping I'd be able to slide up the wall a little bit there and get over the top of it okay so I'm attempting to limp at speed in a fairly straight line which is not the best way of getting away but I think it's the best option I have available to me given the vehicle I'm driving and the state it's in and I think it's worked maybe he did expect me to have gone over the um, 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 words words are hard I, I did expect me to have gone over the jump there and try, try and escape like that I, I don't know um, I don't see anyone behind I don't see any brightly coloured headlights behind me there are some normal coloured headlights that seem to be following me a bit faster than I expect them to but I'm kind of yeah I think we're I think we're okay I'm going to change that car up ahead of me almost almost no matter what it is because I need something different and yes that's a that's a um that's a coupe so I feel like that's that's about that's spot on that's just what I want I can't handle this oh, give me so a we break. got that oh no it's a sports oh well never mind we have raised the oops that was not what I meant to do because isn't good for your car. Right, I've raised the um, the bar to sports cars now, which is a shame. I didn't want to do that, but it's it's happened. I'm gonna do um, and they haven't seen me in this yet though. So if I if I find another car somewhere and change into a, into something completely different, then I haven't unlocked sports for them. It's, but at the moment, if they see me in this, if we get into a chair, well, if they identify me in this and work out that this is me, then sports cars are unlocked for them. And I don't really want them to be in sports cars if I can. It does, because if they're in sports cars, it, it kind of it limits what I can drive because I need to be in. Then I will basically need to be in a sports car as well. Um, oh, there's a checkpoint over there. I could just carry on straight along this bridge, but I think that's a bit too obvious. And they're going to see where I am, so I'm going to take the exit here, down onto Elysian Island, which is a silly place. We don't like to go onto Elysian Island, especially after what happened last time. Although actually last time I did get away with it, so it's not entirely a bad thing. Sports cars look kind of out of place here, but never mind. Okay, from Elysian Island, I've got a few choices. I can go either go, I could go straight for the checkpoint from here, or I could go back up into Ghetto. But that's probably what they'll be expecting me to do. Now let's follow the railway lines over towards the um, the, the actual checkpoints I want to get. I think that's probably my best bet at this point. So if I get on the railway lines here, and then turn like this, and then go over this bridge, that'll bring me out pretty damn close to the checkpoint. I can then grab that and then use a bit of sports car speed to just get out of here and go and try and play somewhere else. So this is, yes, this is this is all, so far, this is going according to plan. Problem is, they know I'm on this railway line by now because there's the 400 meter um, blip thing and I've definitely gone more than 400 meters on those. So, I'm half expecting to see a welcoming committee waiting for me up here. We'll see what happens though. Fingers crossed, I'll be okay. Yep, there's an orange car. I'll take that, I'm really obvious about it. I've gone blue, that's a shame. Um, I'm going to try and basically try and get out of here now and see what happens. See how this goes. Ooh, can I punch through this? No. <laughs> Worth a try. Okay, so all the hunters, or lots of the hunters, are now in blue cars as well. This is going to be um, an interesting and bizarre chase. I'm not going to be able to identify anyone except by their underglow colours. So, excuse me, Tristan. <laughs> Coming through. Let's turn up here. Right. Okay, so I've got the faster car here because I'm in a, I'm in a sports car. The hunters now know that sports cars are available. Some of them don't have the headlight colours in bright. Even. That's a bit much. But... I think I should be able to get away. Um, I do now... Uh, what? I was going to say I now need a new sports car. I'm surprised how well that's keeping up, given, you know, sports car. I guess they've got similar top speeds, but I've got I've definitely got the acceleration on him based on what happened then when we had to be pulled away from that. So I need to... I can't rely on top speed, I think. Why are they who's shooting at me? How dare they? Um, I can't rely on top speed to get away, but hopefully I can rely on my acceleration to put a bit of distance down each time I go around a corner like this one 
The problem is, as I say, they now all know that I'm driving a sports car. They've all seen it. Um, it doesn't matter how many of them have seen it, actually, to be fair. But they have seen that I'm driving a sports car. So that... Ooh, the, um, there's always a truck appears in that, in that alleyway as you drive towards it. It's very strange. So, yes, they've seen me driving the sports car. They know what I'm in. They know... Get in the circle again. I'm going to blip again. They know what I'm. They know what I'm driving. I can't. I can't use anything less than a sports car from now on. This is a, a rather severe escalation. But oh well, never mind. Interestingly, I just noticed those vehicles over there. It looks like this. This recolouring everything into blue has also recolored all um, vehicles that hunters have used in the past as well. So it's just done everything. Every vehicle has been touched by a player. And or, no, it's probably every vehicle that was spawned in at the time has been coloured into blue. And so the, the, the abandoned hunter vehicles that scattered around the city were all spawned in at the time, obviously. So they've all been coloured in blue as well, which is interesting. And not an effect I would have, not a side effect I was um, expecting. I'm kind of curious as to what Max is driving, because it looked like a sort of a, one of the, sort of the not particularly great sedan type vehicles that you get in the ghetto. Um, but it was quick, it was really keeping up with me. It must be a, I think it must be a muscle car. Um, largely due to the speed it was going at. You'll do. I think. No, nope, that's Max. Oh yeah, it's a muscle car. It's a, I recognise that. That's a... Um, it's not a Ruiner. It might be a Sabre Turbo. Unfortunately, it saw me. And yeah, I, I'd driven a muscle car by then, so that's absolutely fine. Again, I was just... Yeah, I say I was um, surprised it was keeping up as well as it was. That's, that's basically my... Um, <laughs> feelings. That's a coupe, that's a reasonable car, but not going to be good enough at this point. I say, as I say, I need another sports car, so something like, I mean a Jester would be amazing, um, <clears throat> but probably quite rare. I can't use a supercar because then I won't be able to take checkpoints. So in multiplayer, you get a lot of sports cars spawning in the car park here. This is not multiplayer, and apparently the, um, the casino is much lower rent in... Um, was Ed. Apparently the casino is much lower rent in a single player, so you don't get the um, same quantity of sports cars as you do in the in, in the multiplayer. It's a shame. Oh, well, I didn't see what that was, but it looked, it looked good. I should probably have turned around and got it. What's this? No, it's a 4x4. Don't want that. Come on, game. Give me something worthwhile. That'll do. Yeah, a... Um, What's this? A Feltzer. Feltzer, that's the one. I do like the Feltzer. Feltzer is one of... It's not as good as the Jester, but it is a very, very good car. It's very quick. Handles brilliantly. It's a lovely car. The Jester, I think, is my absolute favourite of the sports. Um, but this one is probably a reasonably close second. It's also very loosely based on my real-life car, which is quite nice. Um, the, 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 admittedly, the, the hotter, the AMG version of my car, but, you know, it's, it's, still, it's still close enough. Right, let's do that. Get the circle back on again so that I can actually start trying to take checkpoints. I don't want to be sat here though like this because this is going to make me a little bit obvious. Um, especially as they're now going to be suspicious of every sports car, especially if it's got a guy in a suit in it. Um, and this is going to bring them all back into this area so I'm not going to hang around here. I'm going to go around this car like that and just get out of here like this. I think there was some shenaniganry happening behind me there. I think somebody was switching cars so I'm not hanging around. I'm going to come up here. Let's do a couple of blocks at speed. Then get back into the sneaking in and out of the um, the side roads system. Because this sort of... Sneaking around like this, taking lots of corners, I think is the way to evade the hunters most effectively. Because if I go in a straight line, it makes it a lot more obvious where I'm going. They're going to, they're going to track me using that. But also if I zigzag across the city, if I set up any patterns, again, it's going to be a bit too obvious but let's try and I don't know yeah so I'm aware at the moment what I'm doing is exactly what I said I shouldn't do I'm setting up a bit of a pattern of me going left and right and left of me sort of looping back and forth and still heading due east across the city uh, due west across the city on average so let's loop back round here and do something slightly different let's go actually let's go back around the same loop again I think it's always interesting to try and do this sort of thing. Uh, goodness knows what it makes them think. As long as it confuses them, that's all I care about. Pop out here. And now I'll do straight on here. 
straight on here. There's a police car there. That's interesting. I don't know what that one's up to. I wonder if that's one of the hunters because I think we said that police cars count as sports because basically the way they drive. So now I'm using a sports car. The hunters are all probably going to be using sports cars and maybe that includes police cars. So they're using that as well. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a sports car there with uh, Pete in it. I'm out of here. Yeah, he's he was. I think he recognised me, or he found a sports car in about the right place, doing about the right speed, etc., etc. So there's going to be a lot of chasing going on in this run, I suspect, um, because it's very difficult. Well, we've now got up to the point where it's going to be difficult for me to get away because we're all in better and better cars. Although actually, maybe that, <laughs> that police car has seriously overcooked that corner. Um, maybe it's going to make it easier for me to get away. I don't actually know. But whatever it is, I'm going to use the opportunity of where I'm running to try and put down some straight, some speed in the general direction that I want to go in. So hopefully, I will now that now try and lose the chase in this area of the city. And by the time I've lost it and started trying to get to the checkpoint again, I'll be a bit closer to the checkpoint than I was before. At least that's the hope. Whether it'll actually work I, remains to be seen. But it's my it's my hope and my my wish and my general that's what I would like to see happen so okay I think this car is still in reasonable condition it's a bit too it is a bit of an ostentatious obvious car which is a shame um, so if they see it again they're going to be immediately very very suspicious but I haven't turned the circle off so I can now carry on to go straight to the golf course checkpoint like this or at least loop around the top of the back side of the golf course and then just head around and try and get it it's to, Reasonable, sen reasonably sensible speed. Um, now I think I'm out of the chase. I think they think I'm out of the chase as well. I hope they do, because I'm going to go for the checkpoint now. That is apparently a dead end. Um, good. <laughs> not, not accepting it being a dead end, though. I, I'm not not stopping that because I I'm not driving slowly and subtly enough. I, I don't think I'm sufficiently incognito to sur survive to to um to get away with being spotted by the hunters. <clears throat> so I think my only my, my best best option at this point is to keep moving reasonably quickly and, and unpredictably but attempt to do so in, in a way that allows me to swing back in and round to get that checkpoint um, and yeah because if they see me they're going to probably be very very immediately suspicious of this black felzer because it's what they saw me driving only a few minutes only a moment ago and I haven't changed cars which is not it's not how you do a um, evasive chase thing in this game, but it's not how I normally play. So maybe it's going to be, maybe it's going to, maybe I'll get away with it. We shall see. There's lots of hunters around here, but they're all going off that way because they saw me. They saw my blip over there. So now I can go, I can bid for this checkpoint like that, and then get out of here. It's not been nothing too silly has happened from taking that checkpoint, which makes a nice change. <laughs> um, I can, so I can hopefully now just peel out of here. This fog is going to help a little bit actually because it's going to hide me a bit from the hunters. It makes their their effective, the range they can see a little bit less. Don't be behind me, don't be behind me. Good. Okay, so, yeah, I think my best bet at this point is to just keep moving. As I say, if they see me, if they see the SLK, I mean the, the Felser, then they're going to be immediately suspicious of it. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Turny, turny. There we go. Turn around. Okay, so we're in yet another chase. So uh, Max has now got himself a uh, 9F or an R8, depending on whether it's real. No, we haven't got real cars turned on today for some reason. Um, that is is a quick car. It doesn't seem to be quite as quick as the um, as the Feltzer, which is nice. Um, so I've got it. Yeah, I seem to have a little bit of a speed advantage. I've also, I'm pretty sure I've got a grip advantage. Although some of that might be just that, that I I personally am not very good at driving the other yeah, 9F. I'm not sure. But either way, I I would I'm much happier with the car I've got than the car he's got. I I, I believe I would say I'm in the, definitely in the preferable one of the two. Oh, he, yeah. I don't know why I try and do that because it never works. <clears throat> those, those those corners, you you can't do a handbrake turn and then power away from them in the opposite direction again. It it it, it just never works. And yet it's so tempting to go. Well, I'll just whip around this tiny little corner here and then zoom off in the opposite direction so that nobody can see me. Um, but yeah, as I say doesn't work. Don't know why I try it. <laughs> really shouldn't. Should know better by now. 
Let's go up here again. This worked quite well last time when I didn't have any tyres. Um, this time, of course, we're all in far higher performance cars, which means I need to go a lot further to get away from them. Uh, or to get... I need to... I don't know, actually. I need to not do that. That's top of the list. I can't believe I drove into that... Um, I don't even know what you call those things, but that. I can't believe I crashed, into, I crashed like that. That was abysmal driving. Um, even by my standards, which aren't the highest. Um, but still, we've got one more checkpoint to get now, and I've, I've got speed on him, so I can get away from him down here, down this way into Ghetto. I haven't turned the, the circle off, so I'm... If I can get out of the chase, then I'm good to take the checkpoint. If I can get off the highway, then I can start trying to get in towards the checkpoint. That's not how you take that corner, Lawrence. Jeez. <laughs> I think it's getting to the point in the evening where, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm starting to get tired, I'm not sure, but it's I'm starting to struggle a little bit anyway. Um, I feel like I should probably change cars. No, actually, no, I don't. I shouldn't change cars, because there's no way I'm going to find anything better than the um, than the Feltzer down here in, in the ghetto. There's, and if, I, if I see a Jester, then sure, I'll, I will very happily take it, but the ch odds are not on my side. Okay, so Ghetto Church is off this way. Let's try and wind through the small roads over towards it. Um, no obeying the traffic laws for me. Let's get yeah, down here. There it is. So if I, if I now dip up, yes, this road. Okay. And if I can go, if I can get across this one here without being seen, then I think, yes, I'm now basically home free. I think I can just grab that and then try and disappear off into the into the distance, into the sunset. So there we go. Now it's the uh, now it's what we call the final hunt, and this is where the um, the prey has to prove that they were not that the hunters didn't see them take the checkpoint, or at least if the hunters did see them take the checkpoint, that the prey is able to get away. Don't go into Grove Street. There is literally no way out to Grove Street. So the the hunters are now trying to desperately trying to work out where I've gone. They'll know roughly where I took the checkpoint because they just keep their eyes open. They watch out for it. But to checkpoints going. So they, and they, and they know, and they and they'll have seen my blip, probably heading directly towards it as I took it. So they know roughly where the checkpoint was that I took, but they don't know where I went afterwards because the final hunt has the blip turned, the blip or the circle or whatever we're using turned off, just to give so that the prey has an actual chance at all of escaping. Now coming down onto Elysian Island is a weird way of escaping. I'm not going to um, argue about that. However, especially if I go down here because this is not where I meant to go at all. Um, however. There's no one behind me, and I suspect Elysian Island is long enough that I can get all the way down to the end of it. And yes, there we go. There's a blow up all the all, blow up all the hunters, and it's a win for me. <sighs> and now I can wait here for a speedboat to take me away or something like that. Huh? Thank you for watching. I, um, I don't seem to win these things very often, so that was uh, nice and satisfying. I think I escalated to sports cars at about the right time, and then finding the Svelte was just just what I needed. <sighs> Thank you for watching. We'll show you now in a moment how the hunters got on with all of that. And um, yeah, I hope to see you in the, next, in the future video. Thanks for watching.